Hey YouTube man, what's going on? It's LNH back with another video and today we have some shocking news. Man, I'm sure you guys have not heard this by now, but there was a tweet that recently was just put out that Kyrie Walker has officially shocked everyone and was actually just signed. Now a lot of people were stating this dude would never get in the NBA, of course, that he would never even get looked at by a lot of NBA teams, but you guys saw he previously was getting a lot of NBA workouts and we finally have news as to where this dude is going to be playing and honestly in my opinion this dude is just making a lot of people look bad now let's take a look at this tweet now mikey williams actually put out this tweet and he added Kyrie walker and if we look at the text let's take a look and see him now basically they were going back and forth here about how he shouldn't give up on his basketball career and basically this is just another roadblock in his journey to get to the league but look what he just said he just said i got signed with the washington wizards and mikey responded with now what are they gonna say now that's crazy to me a lot of you guys Guys have been doubting this dude since day one but that's proof honestly we knew he probably wasn't gonna get drafted in the first place but that is shocking to me that this dude finally actually made it and has once again got drafted and for sure his path to the NBA was unlike a lot of other people now of course you guys know he was one of the top players back in high school very highly recruited and of course ended up taking a year off because he actually had some personal issues now after that he was deranked by ESPN to about the 200 spot which is crazy to me just taking a year off something like that would happen and then of course right after that he actually was committed I believe it was to Arizona State but eventually decommitted went to Chameleon BX which was a training facility for 12 months work on his game pretty much prepare for the NBA draft but man the ridicule of this dude and even right after yesterday when he was not drafted a lot of people I was getting a ton of comments in the comment section saying Kyrie Walker went undrafted and they knew this he should have focused on college basketball but look what happened he got signed that's crazy to me we saw he actually worked out with the washington wizards and of course this dude seemed like he was happy to go wherever he would get drafted now i'm sure yesterday when he got suited up of course this dude was wearing all of his gear of course looking to get drafted that day and his name didn't get called of sure he was very concerned about that and really wasn't feeling the best because a lot of people continue to criticize his game and what he said about going to the league he said that's really been his plan all along that's the only place he was trying to go and even i had recommended previously maybe this dude consider going to college but clearly he didn't need it if he got signed here now Kyrie Walker actually even ended up tweeting it hurt but it's going to make me go harder it don't stop we still good and that clearly shows this dude is still trying to make it out and of course with his unconventional move to try to get to the league although he didn't get drafted man what's the end goal to try to get on an NBA roster and that's what he did going this other route now there were definitely a ton of surprises in this NBA draft but I gotta say that was one of the most impressive ones now I think another one that was very impressive to me was man that Jalen Green and Josh Christopher duo at the Rockets. Now, a lot of you guys know this by now. I even made a previous vid talking about this and how Jalen Green was very likely to go to the Rockets. If you guys didn't see, he was even on IG Live talking about it before he even got drafted a couple of weeks ago. So this definitely wasn't a surprise here, but I think I'm glad that this dude made it. And for sure, him actually teaming up with Jacob again, they had actually played on the same team in AAU at one point. As you guys don't remember, those games were insane they were really killing everyone on the court but to see these dudes actually team up in the nba again and they're both pretty close definitely friends have been around each other even at the slam type of events they've had it's gonna be lit to see them two guys play in the nba for sure now on the other hand of course we gotta talk about sharif cooper and this guy definitely dropped farther than a lot of people had thought now even previously before he got drafted there were actually a ton of reports stating that this dude's draft stock was actually increasing now I'm very curious about this because even if we take a look at where he got drafted which was the number 48th pick a lot of people were saying his stock was gonna increase like crazy and he was definitely gonna go first round now I was kind of shocked that he went this late and a lot of teams did not end up picking this dude up now if we take a look at it man you guys know this dude's game is very dynamic but I think there were a few things that were really holding teams back from picking him earlier on and one we got to state the obvious it's the 
height. This dude is not the tallest player. So a lot of people, I think, were a little bit more hesitant to give him a chance, given that he only played about 12 games at Auburn when he was in college. And the second part about this, of course, is that jump shot. If you're that short, you guys know you got to be able to shoot the rock. And this guy for sure definitely struggled in college when he was shooting the basketball. Now, if we take a look at 12 games, it's definitely something questionable that we talk about. 12 games is not a lot of shooting to really judge a player and really see if they can shoot the ball like that or not. But that's what they had to go off of. And of course, some of the workouts that Sharif Cooper did have. But at the end of the day, when you go off of those college games, he definitely does not look like the most impressive shooter, but can at times get buckets and definitely hit shots when the team needs them, specifically driving down low, absorbing, absorbing contact and really finishing at the hoop. It really seems like this dude is impressive in that aspect. You can't tell me he's not afraid to go up against 6'4", 6'5", defenders and try to lay the ball up or even get his teammates involved, which is his most impressive skill, of course, being that true point guard, but also being able to score the rock is something he has flourished in so far. And I hope that translates to the NBA. I think this dude is going to be super exciting to see him play. And of course, he went to the Hawks, which means what? He's actually staying home. This dude actually is from Georgia, which means he's going to be home and he's playing in his home state, which is fire to see. Man, but I'm very curious what you guys think about this dude as well, how he's going to play. There are so many people getting drafted and a ton of talent coming on. Now, the next person we're going to talk about, and yes, we're doing this rapid fire, is Mac McClung. You guys know by now, Mac McClung, of course, he's another guy a lot of people did not think was really going to get this type of NBA interest as well. Now, Mac McClung, yes, actually got signed to the Lakers after going undrafted. And to me, this is insane. If you guys haven't seen what's going on with the Lakers and what their team is looking like, take a look at it, man. Of course, they have Braun and AD. They just signed Russell Westbrook. And now Mac McClung is going to be on the Lakers. That is crazy to me, the type of talent they have on this team. But in my opinion, it's not always the best thing when you get signed to a team like this with so much talent, especially Braun being on the team. Yes, you're going to be able to learn a lot from these guys. But for sure, I don't think Mac McClung is probably going to be on the Lakers for that long being that the team is so talented but he's definitely gonna be able to learn a ton from people like Russell Westbrook and Braun there of course AD you have so many really skilled individuals on that squad it is going to be lit to see that man play there hopefully he gets some PT man but at this point I think it's definitely gonna be a struggle for him and he's gonna be someone who's gonna have to work his way up in the minutes and of course he's probably gonna play summer league as well so we're really gonna get a feel of how this dude's game really translates to the NBA and that's where I think a lot of these guys we really want to see how their overall game really does work in the NBA aspect of course it doesn't always translate for some players but somebody like Mac McClung this dude isn't afraid to hit big shots and I think he definitely loves to take risks on the court a lot of people even criticized him because of course he's a score first guard you guys know this by now he's about his buckets he's really not trying to pass the ball did not average a lot of assists in college so it's going to be interesting to see how this dude plays in basketball in the Lakers let me know what you think about that pick let me know about him getting signed did you think he was going to get signed or not how do you think he's going to perform in the league and lastly man we got to talk about it bj boston now lastly bj boston actually did of course get drafted a lot of you guys probably assumed he was going to get drafted but man he actually was the 51st pick and actually went to the new orleans pelicans before he was quickly traded to the clippers now that of course means yes he's going to be in california again pretty much staying home in my opinion but this dude has a long way to go in my opinion he played decently well at Kentucky but there were definitely a lot of things he's gonna need to improve on to make sure he's an effective player in the league definitely his jump shot was something that used to stand out back in high school and him being such a highly recruited player people thought he was gonna play a little bit better in college now he definitely didn't average the most points and for sure there were a lot of times where he really didn't seem always confident in his game but I for sure think this dude can turn things around once he gets to the NBA continues to put in that work and of course everything that's going on with Terrence Clark I'm sure it was a lot for this dude really to process and he's definitely going to give this game his all as a tribute to his friend who did pass away and you guys did see Terrence Clark actually did get drafted so I was definitely something that they did great but there was so much news going on man I'm curious what do you guys think about all these players getting drafted Man, we have talked about these guys for a minute and now to see them really make that transition to the NBA is insane to me. I'm curious, do you guys want those types
type of videos let me know in the comments down below if you want to see those vids on how these players are doing in the league it would definitely be interesting to look at how their games really translate but let me know in the comments down below which one of these was the craziest story you heard man i probably would say kyrie walker at this point him even getting signed a lot of people didn't even think this dude would get that far so let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this situation but make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications you get a new notification every time i upload a new video and i appreciate each and every one of you make sure you join the discord all right selling hmo